Right, so I want to just quickly go over how do we go about placing in images that have transparent backgrounds. Now, this really has to do with JPEGs, okay? Because if I, I'm going to start in Photoshop here and we're going to work in InDesign. This image is actually a JPEG. Um, and if I wanted to just place this area around here, I'd need to make sure that I place it in with a transparent background. Now, this is very evident in Photoshop. So I'm going to come on in, in Photoshop, and I can just make a quick selection of this, uh, this image. So this is a fairly easy one to select. I can come on in, I can come to edit, copy, edit, paste. Right, I have this in the new layer. I'm actually going to chuck the back layer. And I can see that this has a transparent background. Right, whenever I see that grid in Photoshop, that is the transparent background. So I'm going to crop it one more time, just a little bit, bring it in a little bit so the image uh, fits a little bit better. Now, this is where the important thing is. When I save it, I need to make sure that I save it to preserve the transparency. So in Photoshop, I'll come File, Save for Web. Do not want a JPEG. What a JPEG does is a JPEG will automatically fill white in around it. So I'm going to save it. PNG 24s really have the best um, resolution in 2013, making this November of 2013. I'm going to go for PNG 24 and I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to put it on to my desktop. Great. Now let's take a look at one thing in Illustrator, right? So Illustrator, the good news about Illustrator is that it's going to preserve. It will just bring these over without the white. It's really the JPEGs we have to worry about. So I can come on into Illustrator. I could place this directly in as a .ai file. So I'm going to save it as an AI file. Okay, and I can also come in, file, save as, um, and I'm going to save it as a PDF. Let's place both in and do a little test, 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 save, save PDF. All right, so we come back into InDesign, All right, and let's take a look. Let's say that, you know, this was, uh, this is like a header section right in here. All right, let's say that, you know, down over to the left, I want to create a text box. Okay, I could go get and fill in some dummy text, but I'm just going to type it. Now I'm going to make my box for my picture. And maybe my picture is going to even run in up through in here. I can come on in, file, place, and I can find the image on the desktop of the Bodhisattva. And I need to make sure that I have the PNG. This image is pretty big, which is great, so I can uh, fit it. So object fitting, or I can right click, control click, I'm sorry, yes, control click on the... Um, all right, hold on, on the, on the Mac. Fit content proportionally, and there we have it. So we can see that this image, see how it has a transparency, so it can be behind this, um, and it is, the, the colors remain, there's no color there. Now just real quickly, let me place in, I'm gonna place in both, just doing a little test here, both of these uh, next objects. Now, I definitely think you have more power when you make a box for your images, right? So let's say I wanted to place in the next one. Again, this is just a test file place. I can come on in. Uh, let's, let's do the PDF. Let's see how that goes. Open. And there it is. All right, so again, same thing. It fits the, and it comes in in without the, um, the transparency. I can move this down. Maybe this is like a little bit of a header. All right, and the AI will work the same way. So there we have it, bringing in transparent images. The images, again, that will have the white around them are JPEGs. Thanks for listening.